How Not to Die by Michael Greger, summarized by Bukola Odedei and voiced by Uyo Uyo. There is a particular television show that I love to watch. It's about excessively obese individuals, people that are so big that they cannot stand, walk or bath by themselves. They can still do one thing though, they can eat. Eating is the common trait among all those featured on the show. These people consume processed food and other junk food as if their life depend on it. <laughs> Greatest components of our modern diet are animal fats, processed food, meats, dairy and eggs and all these foods contribute in no measure to obesity and other lifestyle diseases. Hence, we get sick and die. Further worsening the situation is the shortage of medical knowledge on nutrition and health as there are just not enough research being undertaken by the universities on nutrition. This is the first major lesson in how not to die. Poor diet is the leading cause of death and disability. So, if you want to be healthy, be careful of what you eat. By the way, if this is your first time on our channel, welcome and consider subscribing because we'll help you to discover secrets of success from good books and great people. Let's move to the second lesson. Have you ever turned your attention to plants to help heal an ailment? Why or why not? The truth is, more than you realize, you've been eating drugs in form of food. Green is the color of life. First off, all whole fruits, not the packaged fruit juice, improve lung functions, limit cellular damage and reduce inflammation without causing weight gain or inducing all the diseases associated with sugar while the berry family is a great boost to the immune system and help to deter cancer. Vegetables are a powerhouse of nutritional benefits too. These most underappreciated greens prevent life-threatening diseases, aid liver and lung functions, reduce the risk of cancer and lowers bad cholesterol. Vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, kale, carrots, beet should be highly welcome on our plates. Beans, soy and lentils are storehouse of key nutrients too, each offering standard servings of animal-free protein and fiber. Beans also reduce the rate of sugar absorption in humans. Colorful whole grains are rich in antioxidants, aside from cutting the risk of obesity, diabetes and strokes. Hello, whole wheat spaghetti. Do you still excuse the peanut from your plate because you believe they are to blame for your acne? <laughs> I do too, or at least I used to until I understood the importance of adding nuts and seeds to my diet. Consumption of nuts and seed like sesame, pumpkin, sunflower and walnuts have been shown to detoxify excess iron from the body and increase bone density. Walnuts on its own are one of the most anti-oxidizing foods available and it also boosts the high quantity of omega-3. Come on, let's get naughty. In all, let our foods be our drugs so that we won't end up taking drugs as foods. And this is the second major lesson in the book, How Not to Die. Plant-based diet offers better health benefits than drugs. I love my spices. Curry, ginger, nutmegs are all my kitchen essentials. To me, the flavor and aroma they add to my dishes makes them indispensable. Lately, I learned that they do more. Spices contain high level of antioxidants and help in knocking out diseases. Cinnamon, oregano and nutmeg fight depression while turmeric combats cancer. Whichever one of these spices you pick, you are bound to get good flavor, aromatic dishes and a punch of disease protection and this is the third major point of the book How Not to Die. Herbs and spices go beyond the flavor, the preserve your health. Occupying two-thirds of the Earth's surface is no mean feat. I'm sure nature wouldn't have made it so if it isn't that important. Spring, tap, rain and lakes, no matter its source, as long as it is pure, it is the best drink for you. 
Water is nutritionally empty. It gives neither calories nor carbohydrates, which actually makes it best if you are seeking to lose weight, but aid the body to get rid of toxins, prevent dehydration and regulate body fluids. A lot of people, however, cannot stand its tastelessness and try to compensate by reaching for other kinds of drinks. Next in line of the good list of beverages are coffee and various kinds of tea. Unsurprisingly, soda topped the bad drinks list, beer and booze also, but the final member of the bad drinks list is a shocker, milk. This is the fourth major point of the book How Not To Die. Reduce the soda, reach for water, it is the best beverage. As part of my quest to burn some belly fat, I took up jogging. The first day, I wore my special Usain Bolt t-shirt as a special tribute to my hero. I was all good to go. Jogging over a distance of 1 km was killing. My legs were screaming so badly with pain that I was convinced that I will not do this again. In fact, I told my partner just that and managed to convince her to go get a car to take me back home. <laughs> the phobia for workouts is prevalent in every level of our society. Kids used to play around outdoor, chasing one another and kicking balls. Now they spend the entire day watching movies and playing video games. Adults are not left out of the inactivity too. Most of us wake up to drive to our offices, spend the entire day fighting with our laptops and return home late in the evening, tired and exhausted. However, there is a simple guideline for exercising. 90 minutes of any moderate exercise like hiking, fast walking and swimming or 40 minutes of vigorous exercise like basketball, weight training and tennis can go a long way to make you healthier. The fifth major point in the Michael Greger's book is, exercise plus healthy diet is the recipe for a long and healthy life. Now, let's discuss. What lessons do you think I missed in this book? What points would you like to add? Which other good books would you like our team to summarize next? We love to receive your comments. If you love this summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we'll help you to discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. We love you.